Hey everyone, welcome back to another Blender tutorial. Um, in this one, we're going to be doing some compositing and making a special material to make this sort of glowing text thingy with a, a glow halo around it. So, first off, let's just go ahead and add that text. Text, and I'll call it glow. There we go. And let's go into the text tab and give it a little bit of thickness. That should be good. And I'm just going to smack a font on there. And there we go. We have our glow object. I'm just going to move it a little bit into the center and up a bit. So there's our text object. And let's just add a plane below it. And view it from the top. Push Control Alt Number Pad 0 to put our camera there. And I'm going to move that up a little bit. There we go. So now... um. Usually what you would do is you would take your text object here, add a new material, call it glow, and then choose color and set it to be a mission. And you would have a glowing text object. Now, it looks semi-decent. I'm going to just go ahead and add an environment here, like a night environment, so that you can see what this would look like, like in a normal scene. I think I have a night HDRI here. There we go. Now, it looks okay, but usually with super bright things, the actual main part of the object is white. It's blown out, it's overexposed, but the green or whatever color around it is all that's showing the color. And we can sort of fake that with the node editor here. If I just disable these two panels, split it, go into the node editor for this material, if I duplicate this emission shader and just set it to white and add a shader mix shader here, we can actually tell it to mix between these two different glow um, materials by using an input light path. Now this light path basically just tells us um, if it's the camera that's looking at the object or if it's something else. So with that that shader mix shader here You can see if we plug these two Mission shaders in and put the camera ray into the factor You can see to the camera the object looks white, but to everything else it looks green And so you'll get a glow. It looks good from above like this because we have this plane below it But if you look at it from the side, it just looks white and that's not what we want. We want sort of a blur around it. And we can do that pretty easily by just, I'm just going to go into solid view here, take this object and move it to another layer. So if we select both of those now, go into the render layers tab, I'm going to name this one main, it's the default, and we'll add a new one, call it um, glow, and have it only be that new layer we just set. That L is capitalized. Oh, it's the little things that bug me. All right, so now on this um, render layer, we only have the glow object, and we don't want to use the environment, so uncheck that. But our main one, we do. So then go ahead and select all of the layers of all your objects, and if you see, if we render this out, I'll just turn down my resolution and samples really quick so we can go quick. There we go. If we render this out, our first layer will just render um, the background and the glow object, that's our main layer, but our glow layer will only have the glow object on the black background, which is perfect, because we, compos we can composite those together now. So if we go into compositing, and select that render result, use nodes, backdrop, and then go ahead and control shift click this, you can see we have a preview here. And if we go ahead and duplicate this render layer object, or node I mean, and set it to glow. You can see we have this black background like this. And what we're going to do is take this and mix it with this after blurring it and doing some other stuff to it. So first off, we're just going to add a blur node. Gaussian blur. And set it to something like 25 or so. And we're going to plug that into a converter color ramp. And set the black, the alpha, all the way to zero. And the white over here we're going to set that to green. And then we're going to duplicate that color ramp. I'm just going to move this down a little bit. 
duplicate this color ramp and set the green instead of to green white so we'll have that be white and then plug that image into there and we're going to add an alpha over and so we're going to put this white on top of the green so that's actually backwards so we'll switch those and just reorganize these a bit so now we have our white text with a back with a transparent background from using this color ramp put over the top of our green blurred text which gives it this halo effect which is perfect and all we have to do is just put that on top of our main render so now you can see there's that halo around it so just plug the composite into here and it looks fantastic now it looked great from above before but what we really were trying to fix is the angles, the weird angles from the sides. Angles like this. So if I control alt zero here, in rendered view, just the preview, which doesn't use the compositing, you can see it just looks white. But when we render it out, since we set up those render layers and added the blur and everything, you can see there's this green halo effect around it, which is fantastic. And this should also work with a transparent background as well. So when we go ahead and do this, boom, there's that green trend, there's that green glow. Now, when you want to change um, the color of the glow in the emission shader here, our glow material, you just set the green one to blue or red, whatever you want, and then also go to this color ramp here and set that to the same exact color. And then once you render it out, there we go. And once again, this should work from every conceivable angle. It should look good. So from here, control alt number pad zero, render that out. And fantastic. So now we have that glowing halo and it looks absolutely wonderful. This is good for, for our motion graphics or maybe an intro to your YouTube channel, whatever you want to do. Just put all your glowing objects on this other layer. If you want to have multiple colors, you'll have to go through some other stuff, but I'm not going to get into that in this video. But for instance, if I went and added a torus like I did before, let's go to solid view, put it down over here, and if I gave that its same that same uh, glow material and moved it to the second layer, which it's already on, go ahead and render that, you can see it gets that same exact compositing and treatment. So with that, pretty simple tutorial, but if you enjoyed it, you can go ahead and like the video. And if you're feeling particularly nice, you can go ahead and subscribe. And with that, I will see you guys later.